Sudan, we had marked as a civil war. And now mainstream media, corporate media is calling Sudan a civil war. We called it a civil war before they called it a civil war, right? Before it was all over the news. It's a civil war in Sudan. We need to turn Sudan red. It's now a proxy war. It's no longer a civil war because it was a civil war before this outbreak of violence that occurred recently with the two, with the militia faction going against the military faction. And Egypt has gotten involved, from what I understand. Right? Adrama, sending love to Sudanese, indeed, indeed. Right? So I think we need to change Sudan into red because it's a proxy war war full-on proxy war okay. unfortunate very unfortunate very unfortunate very unfortunate uh, but it is what it is right and the reasons for this proxy war Adramas, full-on proxy, shame on the military-industrial complex, shame on the military-industrial complex. And what really kicked this into high gear was announcement that Russia had cut a deal that they were going to build a military base, naval military base, small one, on the coast of Sudan, and within w not even weeks so announcing that within days of announcing that we had the full-on full-on civil war which is a proxy war kick into high gear right because us we you know we found out that the us military was involved there and they had met with the militia group uh, a few days before uh, hostilities the actual violence took place. Western governments were pulling out their citizens. Canada, United States, they were pulling out their citizens. Canada wasn't doing a good job. It is what it is, right? That's what, by the way, this is one of the reasons we talk about this, right? Because if you were in Sudan, watching our previous live streams, maybe, maybe uh, that would have triggered something for you to be prepared for what's coming, right? Uh, and this is gonna happen many places, right? Many places, Plutonic Pluris. Is it Russia and the Sudanese officials, military versus US and the militia? Um, to a degree, that's what it looks like. To a degree, that's what it looks like. And Egypt has gotten involved, gang. From what the Duran was reporting, I haven't checked into this aside from the Duran, but they do a really good job of factual they checked their resources the egyptian military was doing air raids on the militia in egypt so i don't know if we should mark egypt as red yet but if they participated in attacking the militia because egypt is a pretty pretty serious ally they, they've been they were under u.s control for the longest time right but Egypt for the last few years, after they ousted the big um, uh, brotherhood, right? Uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, right? After the Muslim Brotherhood won the elections and they went full on crazy and wanted to go full on Islamic Republic and that didn't pan out well. So the military took over, took militaries in control. They've done a pretty good job of walking a fine line between Russia and the United States. But if they're actively participating in bombing the militia in Sudan, the militia that the United States, from the looks of it, is supporting, right? Then uh, Egypt might see some turmoil breaking out as well. Okay? Egypt might see some turmoil breaking out as well. Uh, Elder God, the UK is getting these British citizens from Sudan all with work visas. Really? Okay. Lark Park. Abolish the military industrial complex. It's a disease. Indeed. Let's see if RK Jr. is going to have a say in this. Ronnie, how are you doing? Salutations. Emersonic. 
when this all started in Sudan, UK radio was pushing the evacuation hard for nearly a week straight. Yeah, yeah, that's why you could sort of feel it coming along, right? Feel it coming along. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to reveal information that me and you desperately need to bring transparency and accountability of Capital House power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. Start following the information. Look in the history of Julian Assange and listen to his speeches and his, read his writings. This is what Julian Assange is trying to prevent.